What's up, guys? Um, just finished watching uh, UFC Vegas 44. Um, it was a great night of fights. Great event. Amazing uh, fight card. Some very nice fights, man. A lot of action. A lot of drama. I particularly enjoy um, Clay Guida's fight. I think that fight was pretty good. It was pretty awesome. The way Clay Guida... Um, basically made a comeback you know he he was getting his ass kicked really bad and and the guy got stout and and his opponent got stout and, and then it was all clay Gita from there and he he got the win he got a real naked choke but i'm not here really to talk about that fight i just wanted to make a quick mention that uh that was uh probably my favorite fight of the night even though the main event did not disappoint me at all man it was an action-packed main event it was uh, Jose uh, Aldo versus uh, Brock Font it was just an amazing fight from top to bottom action packed up and down um, you know just uh, one of those very competitive uh, in your face greedy greedy fights uh, where you where we see it all you know uh, where we see ground game where we see stand up uh, leg kicks, body shots, um, you know, uh, at one point both seem to have, uh, you know, swollen, one eye swollen, both opponents. Uh, I think Rob Font did an amazing job of uh, starting really well. Congratulations to him because he really took it to Jose Aldo. Jose Aldo had to earn this one. He really did. Not that he doesn't tend to earn his his wins he really you know he often does but uh Rob Font was particularly very tough to beat in this instance he had a good game plan obviously he wanted to put the pressure on Jose Aldo early and he did a great job I had him winning uh, both the first two rounds um it's just I think he made some mistakes I think uh he went for some takedowns and I think that uh in the ground game, uh, Jose Alto was just a better man. Once they hit the ground, Rob Font did not have answers for um, Jose Aldo. Just, you know, he did a fair job of um, defending and uh, avoiding um, being ground and pounded and, and, and being submitted. He did a good job there, a lot of heart. He showed a lot of heart. But uh, Jose Aldo just... He was having his way on the ground with him. Um, he just, he mounted him several times. He had side control of him. He controlled him on the ground for several rounds. And uh, you could see Rod Font just was not out of his element. I want to say out of his element, but not really. But uh, yeah, all he could do, um, he was just defend, defend, defend. He really could not... Um, there was, I think, in the third round, he managed to do, to get out, you know, to get up uh, from from Jose Aldo's uh, ground control, but um, it was just uh, one of those things where Jose Aldo showed to be the superior uh, ground game guy, you know, between both of them. Um, at some point in the fight, I think it was in the third round, they reminded Jose Aldo, "Hey, remember you can kick." And he started kicking, and that changed. I think that changed the course of the fight for Jose Aldo. Um, Rob Font was having was receiving a lot of leg kicks, and he's you know he's just that the, the fight, the pressure that he was putting changed completely. The pace uh, slowed down. Jose Aldo is just a master. He's one of those guys that at this point has so much experience. He's an old wolf. He knows how to do it. He knows how to win. He's durable. He's not going to go away easy because Rob Font landed some very, very nice shots. A lot of, uh, you know, a lot of punches to the face. At one point, Jose, Jose Aldo's um, right eye was just swollen. It was about to, it wasn't, it was just that almost completely chopped down. And, um, is that the pace of the fight uh, Rob Font was attacking the body he was landing a lot of body shots 
it, it was very competitive. I'm not going to say that Jose Aldo dominated. He did not dominate this fight. Like I said, he um, he had to earn this win, man. He, he had to fight hard. He had to fight in exhaustion. And that's where the ground game was very useful for him because he took it to the ground. I think Rob Font made several mistakes in um, attempting some takedowns. And usually when he would fail, he would end up at the bottom and uh, Jose Aldo would get on top, like I mentioned before. And, and, and he would manage to gain control. He was controlling Rob Font in, in the ground. And that's where Jose Aldo got the chance to catch his win, catch, you know, um, slow down his heart rate, uh, slow down the fight and, and take control, ultimately getting, getting the win. It was an amazing performance by both fighters. I think uh, I'm a big fan of both at this point. Always been a fan of Jose Aldo, to be honest. One of those fighters that uh, I admire so much. One of the, the best champions, most dominant champions ever in the UFC. And I maintain that uh, one of the biggest injustices in the MMA sport was that Conor McGregor never... Um, gave Jose Aldo his well-deserved rematch because at the time when um, Conor McGregor beat Jose Aldo, he did it in such a dominant fashion. It was, I believe it was a 12 second, uh, in, you know, in 12 seconds in the fight, he knocked out um, Jose Aldo in highlight fashion. No denying there, but uh, at that point, Jose Aldo had been a, a, a 10 year uh, plus dominant uh, champion and uh, when he, back when he was in WEC and then when he came to USC he was a champion he had he faced just about every killer contender they put in front of him he was one of the best uh, champions ever featherweight champions ever in the MMA sport I think and um, I think it was bullshit that uh, Conor McGregor never gave the guy um, a chance to redeem himself, to get that, to, um, maybe he would have lost to McGregor again, but not in that way. He would, I think he would have redeemed that loss, and uh, McGregor never gave him the chance, um, which is one of those things that I hold uh, against McGregor, to be honest, because um, I think that, uh, and UFC also, UFC never pushed for it, I don't think. I don't think they gave uh, Jose Aldo the respect. Now they are giving him that respect, but back then they did not give him. After he lost that belt, they did not give him the, the respect that he deserved. I remember back then at that time, uh, Jose Aldo was saying a lot of controversy things, controversial things about UFC. And maybe Dana White didn't like that. The usual story, you know? So, um, Anyways, uh, it looks like Jose Aldo is on his way to a uh, title shot again. This was a great win for him and uh, uh, amazing, amazing uh, title fight, amazing main event. I loved it, action packed, a lot of drama, a lot of, you know, bloody, greedy. One of those fights that you just love. Anyways, those are my thoughts on the fight. Uh, let's see what Jose Aldo does uh, from here on in and uh, I'll keep my eye also on Rob Fun, I think uh, that guy just needs to work on several little things, you know. Um, but uh, he's on his way, man. He's a contender. He's beating some good guys. And he gave Jose Aldo a run for his money for sure. Thanks, guys, for listening to me. Give me likes, dislikes, and uh, subscribe to my humble channel. Peace.